don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Happy New Year, everyone! Are you sober yet? I might be drinking a little bit on New Year's Eve, so odds are I'm not sober when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> but this is the day before. I'm still sober. Anyway, I spent the day, since I figured this isn't going to be a long video, because I figured most of you are going to be hungover and hopefully getting ready for tomorrow's 100 Project 100 Days Challenge is beginning. Yes? No? Maybe? I don't know. But I did spend the day um, working on the blog, doing a few email newsletters. I had some interview requests, so... I took care of those and then um, I wrote my goals for 2022. So we're going to do my goals today. I'm going to just read you my goals and you guys can keep me on track, on task. And at the end of the year, I didn't do this last year. So I am big on goal setting. And I think one of my goals was to complete the 100 Project 100 Days Challenge. And I did it because it was a goal. But I don't think I set any other goals last year. So in addition to the 2022 100 Projects 100 Day Challenge, completing it, um, I've got these. So don't judge me. These are my goals. So I actually wrote, the very first thing I wrote was keep it low key. Because every year I'm like, we're going to get this. We're going to nail this year. It's going to be great. And I do the whole cheerleader rah, rah, rah thing. And then COVID hits. <laughs> I mean, that was the last time I set a goal with like the big cheery goals. Yay. I was going to, this is going to be the best year ever. And oh yeah, I'm pretty sure it was my fault that we had a pandemic because I set really big goals for that year. <laughs> so I'm saying keep it low key so that everything goes away. <laughs> so I'm going to keep it low key this year and not set like pandemic crippling expectations because I still have doubts about um, Spring Junk Bonanza and the March Vintage Market in St. Cloud that I'm doing because Omicron is heating up here and my fear is that people just won't show up. So, or they'll cancel altogether. We'll see. I did write on here, attend more shows like Minneapolis Vintage Market, things like that. So we'll see if just writing that creates this huge problem with the pandemic. I really feel like it's my fault. I signed up for Junk Bonanza that year and said it was going to be the best year I ever had. I was going to do this. I was going to do that. And yeah. And God went, really? <laughs> Hope my earrings. <laughs> okay, next. I want to write one blog post minimum per week. So the blog, I've talked about it before, kind of got pushed aside, right? And I feel bad about it. So I made it a goal to at least do one a week. They don't all have to be, you know, top of the line fantastic SEO grabbing traffic generating just a blog post every week to keep the momentum of writing for the blog going. I don't want my blog to go stale. So I made a goal and one email newsletter per week because I also just went, what newsletter? What? What? <laughs> and I just stopped putting one out. And then I realized people kept signing up for it. And I have like 500 people on my email list now and they almost never hear from me. But when I do email them, surprisingly good things happen. So I'm like, all right, we're going to do that every week. Now, some of you already know this. Some of you might not know this, but I'm an author. So I've written a mystery series and I haven't written in a while. So the last thing on my goals list for this year is write a book this year. This is my year to stop feeling sorry for myself because I was writing a police procedural 
in Minnesota during a time when the police sucked. So I'm going to not, I'm not going to let that stop me. And I'm going to write something different this year. And I'm going to write a book. It will be my fourth book, fifth book, fifth, hopefully published book. Uh, there's other manuscripts that'll never see the light of day, but I'd like to write at least a book this year. So I have a lot of writing ahead of me, newsletter, book, blog post. I did not write anything about except keep it low key. So the goal of doing 100 projects, 100 days is on there. This stuff is 100 projects, 100 days. And the momentum of that will just obviously carry through because this is my primary source of business. But there were a lot of things I let drop in the last two years that I want to get back to. And that's what I put on my goals list for this year. So hopefully you guys are goal setters. If not, you should be. For some reason, if I write a goal, I make great strides in getting towards my goals every year. Some I make, some I don't. And I usually make some lofty goals. If I don't complete a whole book this year, chances are I'll be 90% of the way done by the end of the year. So, and we're going to keep it low key. No more pandemic. <laughs> no more variants and things that are going to like take out everything. So I'm going to just keep it low key. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you set your goals for this year. If you have, drop me some comments down below. Let me know what your goals are. We could support each other. Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy New Year. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course more junkin videos.